Hello Honda fans, I picked up this little uh, toy car uh, locally here. It had no packaging or anything like it. And I had bought a couple other cars that day in difference 172 and 164. And so I just compared them to both of those models. And I think this might be around 164 scale, so that's why I bought it. Further research tells me this, I think, was made by... Well, I don't know. I forget. It'll come back to me, hopefully. I looked it up and it's Kyoto. Kyoto. They apparently made some uh, plastic toys. They weren't all cars though, and this just happened to be. It was about Japan, I guess, and this is historic. Because this is the first uh, Formula One car that won by the Japanese. It's the first Japanese F1 car to win a race. Uh, so this was for the 1965 F1 season. And uh, this thing had a 1.5 liter V12. Sounds big and all, but it's only 1.5 liters is a V12. Pretty crazy. And it actually revved up to 13,000 RPM in order to make around 230 horsepower. I'm reading this from Wikipedia as you can see that text peeking in on the right side. Alright, so out of eight races it only won one race, but still historic for the Japanese in 1965. You know, you gotta remember that country was rebuilding after the World War II, so uh, in two decades they one F1, so that's pretty impressive actually. Okay, this thing only weighed 500 kilograms as well, which is quite light. Alright, now let's check the scale. Uh, Wikipedia says this thing is 2300 millimeters, so let's check the wheelbase on this guy. Silver paint's messed up on those wheels. I'm trying to get into the center of these hubcaps, or center caps. Center the center caps. That's around 39 millimeters. So 2300 divided by 39. Nope, I am way off. This is 159 scale. So that's quite large. Alright, so this would be much smaller in the real world. Oh well, uh, I think Kyosho probably has made this thing in 164, but uh, it never comes up for sale on eBay, so that's why I haven't bought it. Or if anyone knows of another, you know, true 64 scale of this, please let me know. Maybe I'll buy it, because this does have some historic value. So, let's see. We have some plastic and poorly painted center cap wheels here. But the rim is silver. Uh, this tire is rubbery, it seems. No, I'm wrong. It's, it's hard plastic, okay. Uh, Richie Ginther, I think, was the driver of this thing. Uh, the tampo printing, it's not a decal, so that's nice, tampo prints. I have a suspicion this whole body might be this clear plastic and then they painted everything white. So, oh, look at this, alright, so the whole rear end uh, comes off. But pretty delicate, you know, suspension and really delicate uh, exhaust tips there. That seems like it would be a really rigid plastic. I think this would snap if you bent it too far. Okay, some suspension details there. And a little silver paint on the, the differential end there. I'm going to guess it goes back in this way. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I think it's right. So a little glue could help that out if you really wanted to. But look at this little, you know, exhaust header here. So there's air passing between, so that's pretty nice. Silver paint, white paint down here. And then the uh, nose cone is a separate piece. So, you know what? The white of the bottom is a different white than up here. I'm going to guess maybe this is opaque white and then still painted white. And then this is clear white painted white. And that's why this white looks different from that one. It's not a real big deal, of course. That would have been nice to have some black paint in here. But I'm going to guess this was a pretty cheap toy when it was originally sold. Okay. And then so you yeah, had the front suspension. Pretty delicate looking as well. Little steering rod there. Okay, so it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's too bad it's not actually 164. Let's compare it to a couple other 164s to really get a sense of how good or bad this might sit in a collection of F1 cars. Uh, let's get a spinner here. So, just gotta take the inside track. 
So I have a Kyosho model from 1964. It's the Ferrari 158 F1. So it's the F1 car from uh, 1964, it says on the bottom. So they don't actually look that far apart. Wheelbase wise, they're actually quite similar. But I guess then the Honda was a really small F1 car. You know, even smaller than this red Kyosho. Alright. And out of curiosity, let's put this next to a more modern F1 car, also by Kyosho. But this one is from 19, the 1998 season. So naturally it's... Well, I guess the giveaway is the cockpit width. Let me, uh, if you look at the width of the cockpits, yeah, that white one is quite wide. So, that's the giveaway. Overall length doesn't seem too bad, but I guess the width of the body, or really the cockpit opening, is what really tells you it's a much larger scale. One last one I'm going to pull up is, oddly, a Toro Q uh, of a the same type of F1 car, just a different racing number and a different driver. So, alright. This one actually has the trailing links here. This one, there's actually supposed to be an arm coming out of that bump to the, the rear, but obviously, you know, concessions have to be made, it'd be really fragile. Alright, well. I took a chance, and uh, I was wrong, but again, if you know of a 164 other than Kyosho, if, uh, I'm just get guessing Kyosho made one, but uh, I don't know for sure, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you just enjoyed this video. If you don't care about scale, if you can get this, uh, this Kyoto at a decent price, it doesn't seem too bad of a model. Alright, well anyways. Uh, I guess I'll get some F1 cars later on. Thanks. See ya.